when my mom passed away, she was very much asleep. And then when I came up to her and started rubbing her head and touching her cheek and talking to her, she looked at me straight in the eyes and she took her last breath. And I said, you know what, Mom, it's so time, it's okay to go. And I'm gonna be okay. Which I never thought I'd be okay without my mom. It's hard for me to say this, but she ended her life in a beautiful, beautiful way. And it was because of the hospice people that helped me through it. You know, hospice is a, an experience that, uh, you know, you don't know what you don't know, or you don't know what you need until you need it. Sharp has a wonderful group uh, of people and teams, professionals. And they're really angels that take care of you and hold your hand and guide you through the whole process. To me, it is a very special time where people are present in those moments. Your cell phone is off, you're just there with your loved one. Whether you have hours to days, it doesn't matter, you're there. We should all have the honor and privilege to die in our home. But if you can't, you have the safety net of a hospice home in your neighborhood where you're treated as family and you're loved and you're surrounded by wonderful specialized care, but also a support system that you didn't even know you need until you needed it. The story of Moore Mountain View Home is the story of community. Our North County community members were having to drive either to La Mesa or to the San Diego State area or maybe to Benita. It just seems common sense that we would continue to provide this level of service in residential communities where the need is so great. When I was describing the type of property, the thing that just popped in my mind was um, on the corner of Valle Verde and uh, Espola Road was a real estate office that my dad had. Someone then had bought it, converted it into a residential home. So I use that as an example of a perfect location. On Monday morning, I'm sitting at my office and I get an email. I am writing to you to let you know that I plan to sell my beloved house. She goes, Scott, you're not gonna believe this. This is the exact property that Scott and I discussed in buying for, purchasing or buying for hospice. I said, unbelievable. Totally shocking. Just the property that we were, Scott and I were talking about a few days prior. I hadn't even had a chance to look up the owner of the property, but to be sitting at my desk and have this email pop in and say, I'm thinking about selling my home, was just divine intervention. Having my name on this hospice home has been just a passion project of mine that has taken almost 10 years to get to. My family honored me with this naming opportunity and it is my legacy to give back to the community, to get everybody involved because we all can do our part for philanthropy to make these homes a reality. And the friends and my family that have come together, thank you. When families have the opportunity to think about how their loved one was cared for in those final days, we're working to create just really incredible memories for people and knowing that we honored their loved one, we took care of their loved one, and we extended the very essence of Sharp Healthcare was an expression of deep love and gratitude. And I want to thank you, the donors, the people who will think about supporting Sharp Hospice Care. Thank you. And thank you for being there when needed most.